ISFs are creatives. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about ISFJs and ISFPs. Yes, this is another MBTI types video. If you missed the introduction and history, I will link that up in the card. Go watch that first to understand everything we're talking about in this video. And we're going to talk about the two ISF types. And remember, MBTI is used primarily in the workplace, so you can use it to figure out how your character acts, reacts, makes decisions, and what they notice in their environment. The first letter of your MBTI type is either E for extroversion or I for introversion. This is your favorite world. Do you prefer to focus on your outer world or your inner world? Those who prefer introversion expend energy through action. They prefer to reflect, then act, then reflect again. To rebuild their energy, introverts need quiet time alone, away from activity. The second letter is either S for sensing or N for intuition. This defines how you process information. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in, or do you prefer to interpret information and add meaning? Those who prefer sensing are more likely to trust information that is right in front of them or that can be shown to them in some way. They trust the present, tangible, and concrete, aka information that can be understood by the five senses. The third letter is either T for thinking or F for feeling. This is how you make decisions. Do you first look at logic and consistency, or do you first look at people in special circumstances? Those who prefer feeling tend to decide things by empathizing with the situation, looking at it from the inside, and weighing the situation to achieve consensus. They tend to consider, first and foremost, the feelings of the people involved. ISFs are creatives. They use sensing to get a tangible sense of the world around them, and their feeling helps them tap into how they and the world motivate others. They take all of this into their inner world to reflect and produce their work. The difference between these types is the last letter, either J for judging or P for perceiving. This is how you deal with the outside world. Do you prefer to decide things or do you prefer to stay open to new information? ISFJs are known as defenders. Those who prefer judging feel most comfortable when they have a plan, and they'd rather come up with five backup plans than deal with events as they come, preferring to consider their options ahead of time. Personality types with this trait prefer clarity and closure, sticking with the plan rather than going with the flow. Combine this with their ISF nature of being creatives, and that means ISFJs use their skills to service the world around them. Defenders are supportive, reliable, patient, imaginative, observant, enthusiastic, loyal, and hardworking. But they're also humble, shy, repress their feelings, overload themselves, are overly optimistic, stubborn, and easily offended. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how ISFJs handle their career. ISFJs are particularly well-suited to service work. They can always be counted on to remember a birthday, a graduation, or simply a frequent customer's name, and that makes them incredibly well-liked colleagues. They're also hardworking and detail-oriented, so they often have a relatively smooth career with very few ups and downs. They're also perfectly fine with hierarchical structure, and if they're somewhere that doesn't have one, they'll still find a way to fit into some kind of structure. They may struggle, however, if they either attempt to or are pressured into climbing the corporate ladder. They don't seek out managerial positions, and they're unlikely to mention their accomplishments unless prompted. This means they can sometimes get stuck in certain service roles in the workplace and then are subsequently taken advantage of by their colleagues. They make great designers, nurses, social workers, counselors, paralegals, administrative assistants, or pastors. ISFPs are known as adventurers. Those who prefer perceiving are much more flexible when it comes to dealing with unexpected challenges. This flexibility helps them seize unexpected opportunities as well. These personality types tend to react to their environments rather than trying to control them. 
helping them to make their own luck in whatever the world delivers. People with this trait hold that life is full of possibilities. Combine that with their ISF nature of being creatives, and that means ISFPs take what they find in the world and channel it into their work. Adventurers are charming, sensitive, empathetic, imaginative, passionate, creative, curious, and artistic. But they're also unpredictable, overly independent, easily stressed, competitive, prideful, thin-skinned, and refuse to plan. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how ISFPs handle their career. ISFPs do best when they're given full creative control in their pursuits. They care more about their creative freedom than they do about wealth, power, structure, or security. So if they want to stay happy, they have to be allowed to experiment. That's why a lot of ISFPs choose to remain self-employed in either gig work or creating their own businesses. ISFPs may struggle when they have to plan for the long term. This is why if they do choose to work for themselves, they likely won't be the entrepreneur that goes on to make millions. This is also the reason they might butt heads with a lot of their superiors, and why they might find it's better to be a contract worker somewhere as opposed to actually being on the payroll. They make great artists, designers, musicians, teachers, social workers, counselors, psychologists, or veterinarians. ISFJs and ISFPs are both creative individuals. Where they differ is that ISFJs use their creativity to service the people around them, and ISFPs use their creativity to make things. So that's ISFJs and ISFPs. What do you guys think? Do you have any ISF characters? Let me know down below. Also let me know if now that you've watched this video you're interested in making one. I'd love to hear about that as well. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.